Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, for those that don't know me, my name's Dave Kingsbury. Today I'm going to show you how to create a backup, and I'm going to show you how to actually create two backups. We're going to create one backup that's just normal, quick, fast backup of your important data, or any data you want. And second is going to be an advanced, a more advanced backup where you can actually set a schedule to where it can back up every day, once a week. Well, most people set it up to back up once a day. If you like using the QuickBooks program or uh, you're creating videos for YouTube, you want to back up your YouTube folder where all your videos are in case something ever happens, you can do a restore. I set mine to back up once a day at 630 because I'm usually eating dinner about that time. So my computer sees it's idle it'll do the, the scheduled backup but we'll show you how to do that it's not too bad <clears throat> it is a little lengthy and of course it's boring I know so I'm going to show you how to do one simple backup a, a schedule a daily backup or once a week or whatever and I'm going to also show you how to do a restore of that backup that you created if you've got Windows Home Edition you might have to install your backup utility and I'm going to walk you through doing that first and that will only take you a few minutes. Okay, first you're going to have to locate your operating system disk. Should look like that. Should be a restored disk or a regular Windows Home Edition CD. Put that in your CD player. If your CD-ROM is played to auto start, most of you will get this pop-up. It's asking you to install Windows or install optional Windows components. You'll want to click on Exit to leave that program. And so if you right click on my computer and choose Explore, that opens Windows Explorer and it lets you, it gets, it's just a little easier to, to browse through your files. After clicking on your CD-ROM, click on Value Added. Left click on MSFT folder to open that. And left click on the folder NT Backup. That'll bring up your NT Backup installation wizard. There's the installation and the README file if you do get stuck. Just double click on the installation file. And that'll run the installation. And when it's complete, click finish. Now there's actually three different ways you can get to your backup utility. You can start by going to the start menu, all programs, go accessories, over to system tools, and go over and click on backup. And that'll bring you into your configuration wizard. Now the other couple ways to get to your backup configuration is you can go to start menu and click on run and type in NT backup. And click OK and that'll bring you into your configuration wizard. The third way to get to your backup configuration is to right click on my computer, left click on explore, and some of you it'll it'll look like this when you go in there you click on that plus sign to open the folder and there you'll find your C drive and your other drives that are in your you want to right click on your local disk C drive click on properties it actually brings up your your hard disk properties it shows your free space which is usually the pink and the used space you want to click on the tools tab at the top and click on the backup button at the bottom and that will bring you into your configuration wizard. You can click next and then choose the backup files and settings or restore files and settings. Click next and automatically it goes to my documents and settings but you want to click on let me choose what to back up. And then click next now you can highlight the folder you want to back up. Sometimes only my computer is showing. You have to click on the plus sign to open any folder in the computer. 
or the negative sign to close it. Follow the path to the folder you want to back up. I'm going to my documents. I'm going to click on my videos. And I'm going to back up my YouTube folder. And it shows all the contents over here. When you put a check mark in that box, it put, automatically puts a check mark in every folder under that. So you can see. So it's going to back up everything in my YouTube folder. And click next. Automatically it's going to try and save everything to a three and a half inch floppy. You can click on browse. And it'll tell you that it can't find it or it needs to format it. Click no or cancel. Then you have to tell your computer where you want to go to save that file. You can open the menu at the top. Click on your C drive or you can save it actually in my documents wherever you want to save it. You want to right click in this blank space. Click on new, new folder. Now you've created a new folder, you have to give that folder a name. And name mine new backup. Now double click on that folder and go down and give your folder a name. I name mine my backup. I'm going to name it YouTube. And then click Save. Now you can see it's going to save your backup to the C drive in the folder called New Backup. And the name of the backup is YouTube, which I spelt wrong. Hmm. How did that happen? YouTube Backup. And click Next to continue. It shows your configuration settings. Click Finish, and it'll run the backup. It shows the elapsed time. Estimated time remaining, 4 minutes. But I'm not going to make you watch all that, so I'll pause the camera. Okay, you can click a report that's going to let you know that everything is fine. Or you can click close. And you just created a backup. Now also in there, this is your wizard mode. Or you can choose to go into advanced mode, which is here. And it looks like this. And there you can click on the backup button. And run a backup from there. Choose what you want to back up. Click on the folder you want to back up. Click Start Backup. But this time I want to schedule this backup. So I'm going to click on Schedule and it's going to ask me if I want to save before I do. You click Yes. Um, give your new backup a name. YouTube Schedule. Click Save. It'll ask you if you want to create a password for that job or not. I usually don't. You can if you want, but it's you'd have to remember that password the next time you try to do a restore click OK tells me I didn't create a password um, now I can give it a job name again backup details it tells you what's going to be backed up it's a normal backup you can go into properties say I want to do it once or do I want to do it every day but I'm going to set mine up for daily 630 so that shows that back up to run once a day, so it's it's going to show up on every calendar. Um, you can click on it, the backup details uh, as far as what you're backing up or where it's going to be saved and what type of backup. You can go into your properties and change the schedule time and your other settings, which stop the task if it runs for 72 hours, which I've never seen happen. So. You could change that to two hours. If the backup runs for two hours, it'll automatically stop itself. It's going to ask you for a password again. And that's how you change your settings. Or you can restore, which shows our uh, backup we just created a few minutes ago. It tells you when you created it and what time. So to do a restore, you click on the file you want to restore. You've got to follow the chain down. Okay, and then we'll follow the chain down, or the tree. Let's say we were working on this video and the hard drive tools. And that's the only folder that was corrupt, so everything else was okay. We check in that folder. 
and that would only back up that folder when we wouldn't have to back up everything else down here it says restore files original location and we're going to click on start restore to set advanced options for restoring your data click advanced to start restoring your data now click OK and it'll restore our backup data and when that's done you click close now you've just done a backup and a restore you might need to look back at this video a few times and you know just walk through it and just hit the pause button along the way and go back and do your next step and and just keep coming back and uh, by the end you'll be an advanced computer user and you can tell all your friends um, I'm not sure what we're gonna put together for you next but uh, whatever it is I hope it helps and uh, <clears throat> hope you come back and see us real soon And I'd like to try and do some more comic, some more, some comic relief, but, you know, I think of all these ideas that I want to do, and then when it uh, comes talking into the camera, man, it just doesn't work anymore. My brain stops. It's like, uh, um, I always, you know, I like to entertain people and, and be a help to people, but I just never seen myself as being that funny. So, probably not a whole lot of comedy coming out of me, but I'll try to make it as least boring as possible. That I can promise. So, y'all have a great day, and we'll see you again soon.